it's me, Molaikowski here. I am making um, some salads for uh, the week that is coming. Um, first, I, um, I put a little uh, oil and vinegar in a little uh, jar, and then I um, cut up some carrots. I like to do baby carrots because I'm not a big fan of peeling things, despite the fact that I know that I'm ruining the environment, and I am apologizing right now to Mother Earth. Hey, lady. So sorry. Listen. Uh, so, holidays. Am I right? How crazy are they? Oh, so I am. Um, my boys, two of them, are out getting the tree, the big one and the little one. And by the little one, I mean the nine-year-old. So I guess he's the medium one at this point. I'm not sure. And I got to say, I'm thrilled that I'm not there. Even though I love going, and now I can do my incredibly important meal prep. So after the marathon, which I ran because I am an idiot, I um, kind of didn't know how to get my life together. And so I've been getting back on track with Weight Watchers. Even though, you know what, guys? I'm not off, off track. I still track. Track, 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 track. Um, so, but it's been tough. It's been tough. I uh, gained 11 pounds and I am now at nine, which, you know what? Hallelujah. I don't need to tell you my life story, but this is Cooking with Mo, and I'm not going to talk to you about cooking. So that's where we're at. Oh, although I am going to tell you a little something about some cookies I'm making today. We're going to have some kind of Spice Girl on Tuesday. Oh, shoot. I hope that uh, Nicole's not watching. Anyway, and we're going to have a bake-off with Nicole, and she doesn't know why that we're having this bake-off, and that's why. Anyway, I'm making, uh, I made some shortbread cookies, and um, they're in the oven right now, so in a few minutes, I'm going to have to turn them around, according to Martha Stewart, who uh, cooks things. She's real good at the cooking, I'm told. She's also really good in prison. Okay, I don't. She needs to let, I need to let that go. She served her time. Uh, who am I? Who am I? Have I served enough time um, doing the bad things that I've done in my life? Yes. I have moved past it. Although mo emotionally, I really don't think anyone moves past when they've had some kind of trauma. But you should try. That's all you can do. Angelique, I'll send you a cookie. You know I'm not going to do that, right? Um, so, anyway. It's a shortbread, which I'm pretty excited about. I It was a request, and so I did it. I gosh darn it, I did it. I made some shortbread cookies. And I gotta tell you, between you and me, it called for confectionery, confectionery sugar, which is that white powder sugar stuff, I assume, I hope. I mean, that's what it said on the packaging. And um, after I did all of it and put it in the freezer, it seems that my confectionery sugar had, uh, 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 tr uh, what's the word? Um, not died, expired like a year ago. So we'll see. I hope I don't kill anyone. You know, that's all, that's really all you can hope for when you're cooking. Um, I am now going to get something out of the refrigerator and I'm not taking you with me, but my house is, uh, not as disastrous as usual because of the, the tree that's coming. You claim for the tree. The tree doesn't care what your house looks like. You've already murdered it. But you know what? It's something I do. Oh, did I tell you? My dog has been um, at doggy uh, boot camp because he has he's problematic in a lot of ways. First of all, he destroys everything. Uh, secondly, he's made my uh, cat's life a living hell. Nightmare. I feel pretty bad about that. They're back in the basement. Anyway, he's back. We have been working on um, the communication. He is probably uh, better trained than my boys. And by probably, I mean 100%. Now, uh, does it, do you think it is? All right, Arcella says it's okay that how aged my sugar are. And I'm not getting aged. I think it was uh, 2017. This is almost 2019. It is, it's my watch. It's my, um, it, it tracks my every step I take, every move I make. It is watching me. They really should think about that for the ad campaign. <laughs> Am I right, everybody? Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get uh, cheese from, 
It's for Stan, it's not for me. I, I don't need those calories. Although I cannot lie, I've eaten almost every single caramel in my house today. Yeah. And talk amongst yourselves, how are you? So I'm back. Um, I, I, um, I put cheese in Stan's because he needs a little higher protein because he's got bigger muscles than me. Not that I can't have bigger muscles than he. I just choose not to. I would rather run. Um, and apparently you should do a lot of other stuff besides just running. And you know what? In the shower today, I thought you should have some New Year's resolutions since it is the end of the year. And um, that's what you should do. And I thought, you know what, Mo? Why don't you and I have a real good sit down and, and come up with one uh, fitness thing that you wanna do. And I'll, I gotta turn these cookies around. I'll be right back. So what I thought I could do, oh, they look good, you guys. You guys, this looks good. Oh, I think it's gonna be a winner. Even though there's some aged cheese. I'm back. Okay, so. I'm making uh, shortbreads. So um, my fitness goal for about, I would go a good two to three minutes was, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some kind of strength training. Like one day a week, I'm just gonna add some strength training. I'm gonna do some squats. I don't know, something that would be strength training E. And then I thought that, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that kind of negativity. I will continue to run. I'm happily running. I'm at 197 days running straight. Do I look like I'm not strong? Probably, I probably look very unstrung. <laughs> unstrung. But I don't care. I am very, very content with the running. And I do it fine. That I can do. Strength training makes my joints hurt. It's not happy for me. I'm not gonna do yoga. Maybe I'll do yoga. I've been thinking about doing yoga, but I don't really want to. So why am I, why am I so weird that I can't just be okay with what I'm doing? There's too many voices in people's ears. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need your negativity. I'm doing what I can with what I got. So that's where I'm at right now. Do you guys want to stay and wait for my cookies? Cause I don't know what else I'm going to talk about. Um, tell you what I'm getting everybody for Christmas but what if they just suddenly start watching my uh, watching with um, cookie with most shows if they did Holden would find out a lot of things that I really would regret speaking of I, I'm not gonna tell him about the the big guy yet because not about God he can figure out he can work on God on his own um, because I realized something my mom took Santa away from me when I was very little. I never had a chance. And it was something that I really wished that I had had. I get it, he is the reason, not Santa, for the season. And I understand that Christians have um, a mandate on that, but I don't. So I'm not gonna tell him until, until it's like do or die. Cause no, I, I get it. Back to that, I don't need that negativity in his life. My life, and neither does he. You know what I mean? So that's where we're at with that guy in the, the big house. I assume his house is pretty big. Oh, dear. Oh, I gotta go. I think the tree's here. I gotta go. Bye. I don't know how to turn it.